Today I'm going to cover six mods that work beautifully together for the best taming and breeding mods combo. The first mod on the list we have is Awesome Spyglass. This mod lets you go out and find your creatures a whole lot easier than what you normally would. It gives you an outline, a uh, white outline when they're docile. Turns to a yellow when they are uh, fleeing. If creatures are hostile to you, it will turn red. So now that we've got this hostile Spino, his outline is red. With Awesome Spyglass, we can see the creatures at a much further distance than what we would be able to without it. You can barely tell that there's creatures over there now with that outline off. With it on, we can make them out a whole lot easier. On top of it, you can zoom with this and you can still have other things equipped without unequipping it. So there we have it for Awesome Spyglass. Now the next mod in our list is called Net Everything. Doesn't matter what size something is, this net will trap it. And I've tested this on my own server on the Dragon Boss. So, yeah. So we trap the Bronto. And now he's stuck for about a minute. And he can't move, can't attack, nothing. Now this was Net Everything. The next mod on our list is Hunter Traps. This is a mod that has a few structures in it. It's actually several different cages. And it lets, uh, lets us build the cage and we can even place it straight down on top of the creature to get it nice and trapped. Now the creature's trapped and unless we leave render distance, it will stay in the trap. Uh, we have multiple different sizes. We have Massive, huge, and large traps. So now that we've got our Bronto trapped and netted, he can't get anywhere, he can't leave. Now on to the next one. Our fourth mod is Immersive Taming, and this is a alternate way of taming creatures than the normal KO, knockout, or whatever specific method that creature might require. This uses baits, and it's a lot more friendly, so if you're somebody that doesn't like to beat up your creature before you tame it, then this is the mod for you. So as we can see, our Bronto is still trapped in our cage, and all I gotta do is throw some bait in. And he wants the bait, so he eats it. And since I'm using the top tier, Botany Bale, he immediately got 33%, at least for this level. There's three different food tiers. Bunch of kibble. And then we have trophy. That's only for ones that require it with combat. So let's go ahead and finish off this Bronto. Our brown toe is ready to eat again, so let's give him a kibble this time. And he's done! And that, my friends, is immersive taming. That's how we can tame a creature without trying to knock it out. The fifth mod on our list is Dino Storage V2. This is a very detailed and intricate mod that has nearly hundreds of I and I config settings, which I'm not going to go into because that would make a whole video just by itself. So with this mod, we have a main structure that you can automate with several different things. Fertilized egg collection, fertilized egg incubation, gen unfertilized egg generation, passive generation, miscellaneous poop generation, poop generation, be beetles convert poop, iguanodos, seed fruit, sheep wool generation, queen bee honey generation, and you can even allot different sizes and everything. You can also turn on newborn auto trap, which lets you trap baby dinos, uh, primary DAT terminal. This is if uh, you have this turned on and your dinosaurs die. You can change the, mo the mesh from modern to pri primitive to basic. I like modern. Um, 
you have a soul finder remote, you have a soul gun, soul traps, and the terminal itself. So, we're going to trap our Bronto. And toss it in. Just like that. That's how Dino Storage V2 works at the most basic, simple terms. And let's continue on. The sixth and final mod to our list is Best Eggs. This Best Eggs mod lets you breed your dinosaurs, your creatures, and combine the best colors and the best stats with the, with the parents and the ancestors in one go and bypasses the 55% chance that is with default normal breeding. So we've got a male and a female Bronto. The male is from the earlier parts of this video, and the female is from off-screen. Uh, so we're going to let them breed, and once that's finished, we're going to continue on. Now, with this, the structure, you can auto-gather eggs, and you can turn on... Let's see, auto-gather. And you can even turn on gestation, so if it's supposed to be a live birth, that will also gather and turn them into an egg. We have water eggs blood and blood stalker, and we can also show the insulation range and the general range. Inside, this is what it looks like. We have make best egg, refresh current, refresh all. And when an egg gets picked up, that's what it'll look like. Then we'll get into more detail. So, auto picked it up. And now we got a fertilized Bronto egg. So, we can assign the gender or make it random. And we can also see how we have what the what the stats on this egg will be without changing anything is lower health, higher speed, lower melee. So, we can improve those stats by clicking make best egg. So now our egg will be 85. We can also toggle details and determine the colors we want. We can make it all black. Uh, we can make it all dark red. It depends on what colors we've got. Or if you use I and I, you can change it where it will be any color you can select. So this is best eggs, and this is a breeder's uh, dream with uh, being able to faster, easy management for all of their breeding. And with that, that is the end of showing off mod number six. So there we go. Well, everyone, this was Rovate Gaming showing the best mod combo for taming and breeding. So hopefully with this mod combo, everybody will enjoy taming and breeding creatures to their heart's content. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it really does help. And we will see you all for the next one.